Hi there, Clive here again with another review and we're back with Powder Matter, powdermatter.com. Check out the site, they're a new startup. And uh, I did an early review of their sort of main powder, uh, Powder Matters, uh, you should check that out, and also of their Nuts Mania. And um, the original powder was sort of van vanilla flavour and Dirk from Powder Matter sent me some other flavours. So today we're going to be looking at those other flavours. And I don't have any fancy packaging because he hasn't done the packaging for them yet. Um, but we've got a sort of Nutella flavour uh, that we'll be trying. Um, and these are all vegan. Um, a chocolate uh, flavour and a, a choco coconut, which I guess is like a, a bounty bar. Um, obviously probably doesn't have the rights to call them a bounty bar, but uh, if you're in the UK and you know what a bounty bar is, then I guess that's what he's trying to go for, uh, that sort of chocolate coconut mix. And uh, again, with the Nutella, it's that sort of um, almondy, um, chocolatey uh, flavour you get uh, from uh, Nutella. So we're going to be trying those flavours out today. These are in the vegan line. Uh, it's sort of whey-based. Uh, there's complex carbohydrates, it's GMMO free, it's a complete meal, it's made in Europe, I'm just reading off his site here, it's vegetarian and there's no added sugar. So it's high in protein, so there's 29 grams of protein uh, in a meal, which um, is 100 grams of this stuff. There's complex uh, hydrates, which come from the buckwheat oats, the um, amaranth and the uh, quinoa, I was going to say that wrong then, uh, the quinoa um, and then it's got all your sort of uh, vitamins and minerals that you you need uh, in your daily meal in one meal. Following my previous review of the vanilla one which I didn't find a really strong vanilla taste uh, is to change the mix of water and powder slightly uh, so thanks for that uh, Dirk. I mean a lot of these stuff he's still experimenting with uh, and it's good to see experimenting with these uh, flavours. I do highly recommend you check out his site. Here's a startup to see what you think. Um, Powdermatter.com. Anyway, without further ado, let us try the Nutella version uh, because I did on his uh, Nuts Mania shake that I tried out, I did say, you know what, add chocolate to that and it will taste uh, amazing. So that's a sort of Nuts and chocolate is a sort of Nutella thing anyway. So I'll be interested to see with the uh, Nutella flavoured version um, what it's like. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to mix this uh, secret powder in this manila envelope. <laughs> Sounds well dodgy. Mix it up and uh, we'll see what we uh, get. So here we go, this is the Nutella, he says, Nutella sort of tasting version. Yeah, you're certainly getting the, the nuts and the chocolate smell, which is the sort of uh, the key important thing. Nice thickness. It's sort of swelled up actually. I wonder if it's going to swell up any more. Um, I used uh, 350 mils of water to the um, 100 grams of powder. This one feels really uh, sort of, it's sort of swelled up. It's quite, quite thick, which I quite like. Yeah, I'm getting that sort of more of the after nut taste. You get a slight sort of metallic -y taste with, with nuts, sort of. At the sort of the, the tail end of the, the, the nut taste, but uh, a nice sort of chocolatey uh, taste, partly driven by the chocolatey smell. Is it Nutella tasting? I'm not sure. It's more the smell that's driving the taste here again. Um, and in terms of sweetness, it's not a strong sickly sweet. There's no sort of real um, sweet uh, taste but I'm getting a slight sort of burnt nut sort of after nut uh, flavour towards the end but quite nice again with all of these powder matter 
shakes that I've tried, the flavours aren't overpowering and they aren't strong. Now, some people might not like that, might not feel they're sort of flavourful enough. Uh, other people may well find that with some of the other ones I've tried, they're too sickly sweet or they've sort of gone o OTT on the flavour to really drive it home. Um, and you get, like, especially the bananas and strawberry ones and the chocolate to a certain degree, you can get a real strong sort of almost artificial flavour in them. The flavour notes here are much more uh, low key and subtle. I'm not sure the mix is 100% in terms of the, the, the flavouring. But um, I love the idea of a Nutella type taste because I'm not a massive fan of just straight chocolate and I do like um, a, a chocolate nut mix. So um, it's a good one to add to the mix, but I wouldn't necessarily rave about the, the flavour, but it's a, a good one to add to my mix of stuff. And I like the texture, I like its thickness, um, but I just think overall the flavour could be um, a little bit of work on it. But check out the other flavours. I'm going to do the, I'm going to taste in this video, I'm going to taste the other flavours he's got, the Choco, Choco, <laughs> the Choco Coconut, and then the chocolate one as well. And we'll see what they taste like. And I'm going to do those on different days, but we'll put it all in this video. Um, so on to the next flavour. Okay, another day, another flavour. We're back with Powder Matters again. And today we are trying the chocolate uh, the vegan uh, mix, the chocolate flavour. Just a few comments on the Nutella one, the sort of choco nut flavour that we tried yesterday. I did notice that as I drank it, it really swelled up um, as I sort of went down over time. Um, it really swells up and makes it quite thick. So it's a lot thicker as you get towards the, the, the end as it's sort of the swelling up which um, on one hand is a good thing because it makes you, you know, you sort of make, it fills you up. Uh, and that's one thing I have noticed about these is that um, it does, certainly fills you up. I'm not feeling hungry until way in, you know, if I have it at lunchtime, not feeling hungry until way into the evening. So it works as a lunch in terms of filling you up, satiating you and making you full. Some people might not like the fact that it sort of, it gets, it starts to taste thicker. Now, uh, I've just made this a, a couple of minutes ago, so when and while I've been talking set at the camera, this could well have done the same. But uh, we'll try. So this is the chocolate one, uh, powder matters, chocolate flavoured, vegan one. It's got that slight metallic taste that I noticed from the older versions of powder matters that uh, they did. I don't know what it is. Uh, sorry, it's sort of metallic smell, if that makes sense. I noticed straight away it really thickens up, it thickens up quite quickly. So when you first mix it and then you have a drink, it doesn't, doesn't feel so thick, it feels quite nice, and then as you just leave it, it doesn't take long. I don't know whether it's the, the whey or the oats or whatever in here, the swells out, the liquid gets, um, it must absorb the, the liquid and it swells out. So it starts to feel less like a drink and has a much thicker um or much thicker consistency. Again, as with all the flavourings, it's just a, a hint of the chocolate flavour. It doesn't taste particularly sweet, so de definitely not um, sickly sweet. So I know that they use uh, sucralose as a, a sweetener, but there isn't a real, there isn't a real sweet, strong sweet taste that's overpowering or anything. Yeah, it's like a hint of chocolate. It just I get that slight metallic-y uh, smell when I, I drink it but again it's not yeah the, the flavor's not that distinguishable um, and some people might like that and, and others don't but anyway that's a, the chocolate version and um, again it's, it's perfectly palatable I just noticed that it does swell up quite a lot and worth watching tomorrow we're going to try the bounty bar style thing basically chocolate and coconut mix and see what that that um, turns out like so let's get on with that one Okay, hi there, I'm back and it's another day. And I'll be honest, it's been uh, about a week since uh, I did the last two flavors. So we're on the third flavor, which is the chocolate and coconut flavor. So like a bounty bar, if you're in the UK, you know what that is, it's sort of a mix of chocolate and coconut. And I'm particularly looking forward to that, this particular uh, flavor. Oh, I'm getting the, um, oh, I'm getting the coconut smell there with a, a, a bit of the chop. I still get that slight metallic-y smell. I'm not sure what that, that's from. But anyway, 
uh, we'll give it a go. And I had an email from the founder of Powder Matters, Dirk, and he was saying that uh, the thickness that I sometimes find when you leave it for a while, A, it doesn't, it just sort of levels off, it doesn't uh, continue to get um, thick, and also to try um, a little bit more water. So I've done 400 mils instead of 350 uh, to see what it's like. The trouble is the more water you have, then obviously you weaken the flavour. So it's a balance to, to get it right, but um, you know, let's see what it tastes like. So straight away, um, it's, it's thickening up, which is uh, the soya protein, apparently. That's what uh, makes it swell. But there is a, an advantage of that. It does make you feel satisfied. On the other two that I tried, I did feel like my stomach felt full and satisfied. And it lasted me well until the sort of the evening before I sort of was wanting a evening meal or anything. So it does fill you up, it does satiate you, and it does sort of uh, keep you full and satisfied. Again, the flavours aren't that strong, although I can smell the, the coconut. Um, if anything, it has a slightly sort of um, a subtle coconut uh, flavour. I'm not getting much of the chocolate in it, but I'm certainly getting the, the, the coconut flavour and it's very nice um, from that point of view. I think it's, this is going to be one of my favourites, I think, to be honest. Strong aroma of uh, coconut, definitely less of the chocolate. Uh, but generally, I think this is one of my favourite flavours, actually. I wouldn't necessarily call it chocolate and coconut, maybe just coconut flavour. But yeah, so that, that's, very, that's very nice. Still a sort of slight metallic-y taste. I'm not sure what it is, can't quite put my finger on it. But I think this is um, as anticipated, but for slightly different reasons than I thought. I think this is my best flavour of the three that I've, I've tried. So there you go, I've tried the three um, flavour varieties. I also noticed that um, it's, uh, it's been a week between them, me trying the, the last flavour and since that time they've him on powdermatter.com, powdermatter.com. Uh, Dirk's put up a, a video explainer about why you ought to try um, his meal replacement uh, shakes uh, over other other people's well worth looking at that video he uses a few ingredients which some don't and most importantly for me you know he's opted not to use maltodextrin which is a cheap option of carbohydrates that a lot of the other meal replacement products that i try use huel is an exception they don't either and the only real reason for using it is because it's a cheap source of carbohydrate, not necessarily that it's uh, beneficial to you. So it's good that you've got people uh, like Powder Matters who are trying to develop these meal replacement meals and are sort of using a slightly more healthy option. So that's very good. It's what does a uh, powdermatter.com also do some bars or they're experimenting with some bars and I'll be doing a flavour taste on, on those generally. But as I've said before in my other videos, check out powdermatters.com. Uh, they're trying to sort of uh, do some new things, try some ingredients that other that you, you know, you won't necessarily find in other meal replacements, uh, which are maybe a better option, uh, such as the amaranth, quinoa and buckwheat. Uh, so uh, check it out but overall um, I think this is a uh, all going in the right direction uh, I think some of the flavors just need some uh, working on a bit but generally I'm very happy and of the three my favorite was the chocolate coconut flavor thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please do sub subscribe hit the notification button so you know when my videos are up again and I'm going to be doing some more I'm going to be buying some more products from uh, different companies there's more and more meal replacement uh, products coming on board and I think it is a big uh, thing at the moment and it's going to get bigger and there's a lot of focus on the um, environment and climate change and one of the big drivers of climate change is the way that we produce our food and meal replacements could be a small way of uh, helping having less impact um, on your carbon footprint uh, and I'm going to maybe do a whole video on that anyway but anyway thank you for watching uh, any comments put it down below uh, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video